Welcome to New Life Scientific. My name is Steve. Today we're going to be talking about the Leica Polaris Tissue Processor, uh, one of the friendliest machines uh, that I've worked on. A fairly uh, rare machine, and I'm assuming because it is so nice to work on. Unbelievably polished uh, menu, operation menu. Uh, here's the standard uh, operation screen. Any user can uh, can run it from here. Uh, gives you a graphical representation of what all your wells are, uh, including if that one of your jugs is not in properly. It does give you the hint, and all you have to do to fix that, pull out the, and put it back in, it'll automatically recognize that it's put in properly. And you can tell you've changed, you've added new liquid, no change, whatever. It does track the use of, your, of the reagents uh, because they will, as it's moving liquids in and out, they will dilute themselves from the reagents next door. It tracks that. Um, we're going to tell it it's full. You see it's a touch screen, very reactive screen. Uh, when we want to run a protocol, we can go to the protocol screen. These are some saved protocols that are on this machine. They're all gonna vary. They're very easy to program. Uh, and we're gonna go over that in just a second. Uh, when you wanna select one, you just click, tell it you wanna load, which retort. This, one of the things that makes this machine unique is it has two retorts. So you can be running two different uh, processes at the same time, and they don't have to be the same times, the same formula um, uh, for each one. They are totally independent of one another. Um, so that uh, you can be running a long, one that takes a long time, and yet run another protocol alongside it, for example, that may be a very quick one. Um, uh, that is your choice. And as easy as these are to um, perform, uh, to create your own, you're going to have lots of different protocols that you're going to want to vary. Um, uh, to program, uh, you do have to be in the supervisor mode, which is under the control menu, access level, supervisor. Uh, we put in the, the double secret password. Now we're in supervisor mode with the icon even shows you there what mode you're in. Uh, you can set it so it's, everybody is in supervisor mode as well. Anyway, going back to the protocols, I can tell that I want to create a new protocol. I probably should hit that correctly. New one. Um, I, it gives you some uh, options on that. We're going to start with a standard one. Where it tells you you can do by group, type, or station. Uh, what that means is you can do by group. So that your reagents are defined as fixatives, dehydrants, uh, xylene or uh, de-waxers, and wax. Uh, what that means is it's free to choose which one of the vessels that it chooses from. But let's just prove group. We can tell we want to do formalin. We want it to be in there for, let's say, five minutes. We, want it, we can select our whether we're on a pressure vacuum to cycle it back and forth. What temperature we want in your, uh, it will select, give you the correct range for that reagent. Formalin um, uh, has a wide range, so it's 35 degrees to 65 degrees. When you go on to uh, alcohol, uh, I believe it drops to 51 degrees. But let's just say uh, 35 degrees, whether we want where we want the stir, and these have a massive stir into it. We'll show you that again in a second. So that the, the advantage there is that it all your samples in this retort, and this retort will hold 600 at a time. So a lot of a lot of a, a lot of, of uh, capacity on those retorts. Anyway, we can select our speed, how long we want it to drip at the end of a cycle. We can go to our next. And pick a dehydrant again for how much time, temperature, everything. It's going to assume that you want it uh, to save with that. We can tell it to save. We can save it by name, whatever. 
you do need to validate your protocol to make sure that there is no mistakes into it, that you're not running uh, an incompatible uh, reagent after uh, something else, such as, um, uh, let's see, is it uh, xylene and, for and uh, formalin do not react well together. So it will prevent you from mixing those accidentally. Um, we're just gonna tell it done, and I'm not gonna save changes. If we did, it would ask this name, and it would be on our list. If we wanna go in and, let's say, edit an existing one, we can go in, there it, there's the list. This is the one done by station. So uh, this is one of our testing pr uh, procedures where we go through and run from every reagent vessel we run the liquid at the maximum te temperature for that reagent through each retort and then back out, leaving it in there for a long time to soak up any of the, uh, uh, the salts that, are, that uh, these uh, tend to accumulate in tissue processors. Uh, we can go through and scroll through the list. Again, we can validate it. Tell it done, we can save changes, and then it's available to run. And again, the same thing. Um, now you can't run when you're in supervisor mode. So we go back to access level, operator. Back to protocols, and then we can select, you load it. You'd ask which one year we're gonna load this, this protocol in for which retort because there are two separate processes. And it gives, it gives you the list. Um, it's gonna give you what time it would finish up on. This is uh, this being our long hot. Each one is an hour long. So it's over 14 hours to run this particular cycle. Of course, you can set them for one minute. So this could be over in about 15, 20 minutes, all told. We tell it to run. It asks how many cassettes. This is how it, it calculates uh, whether your liquid, your reagents are becoming stale uh, from overuse. Uh, it can track that and that's a feature that can be turned, that uh, uh, reagent management system, that can be turned on or off. Uh, we can tell that we've put 300 in here. We tell, it tells it to load cassettes, done. You can press your start. Uh, you can edit steps right on the fly. Uh, very, very unique for that system. Um, you can predict event time um, or tell it when you want it to finish. Um, press start and it starts the processes giving you full information about what's going on um, in the unit. You can see very easy to use machine, um, high capacity, great throughput, uh, great choice. Uh, as I said, fairly rare units, but a nice, nice selection, a nice um, option for you. Um, so, uh, if you're looking for a good one, check out the Polaris. We got one. Um, you might want to snatch it up because they're probably going to go fast. We do have other models available as well. Thank you very much.